Welcome to the U.S. Open Bank Pool Championships for 2019, presented by Q Sports International, being held at Griff's Billiards in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is George Teja, joined in the booth by Ben Sutherland. Hello, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Got an awesome match up here. Mitch Ooh. Ellerman versus John Phillips. John's been tried and tested a couple times now, and he's come through. He sure has. Yeah. We got local Vegas player, Mitch Ellerman. Hey, wait a minute. He's a transplant Phoenix player. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> Along with you. That's right. We both originated in the Phoenix area and have transplanted to Las Vegas. Okay, this is bank pool. This is a race to four. We're sponsored by Jeff, Jay Helfert, Cyclop, JB Cases, Simonis, Predator, Discount Custom Apparel, and Kamui. These gentlemen, this is a fourth round, one loss side match. Uh, these, both these gentlemen have tasted victory and they've tasted defeat. That's right. We saw a very quick match between uh, Mitch Ellerman and Billy Thorpe yesterday. Well, when he got torpedoed? He got torpedoed. Oh, I like it. <laughs> oh, my, poor Mitch. That was a heck of a match to watch. But actually, in reality, Mitch played well. He had a chance to win another game, but he was the first game uh, that Billy lost in three matches. Was it two matches? Two I'm matches, sorry. yeah, that was the he second he match. Beat, uh, he beat uh, uh, Gary Lumman 4-0 and then defeated Mitch 4-1. to one. Yeah, here's Both matches under 20 minutes. I think it was about 34 minutes of play for Billy yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he had his uh, play full today against, yeah. uh, against Shane. He did. That was yeah. another great match to watch. John Phillips, on the other hand, uh, won his first match. And he was down at the bottom of the bracket. He beat David Zip, Zip 4 to 1. And then he lost to John Mora 4 to 1. So, you know, losing to John Mora has no shame. No shame John's in playing that. good. So he won a game against him. And then he went on to, def and he had a bye. Then he defeated Gabe Owen. So um, he's no stranger. Yeah, I think he just uh, won 4 2 over Gabe. Yes, he did. John is representing the uh, Chicago area. He's from hometown Illinois. He's been playing for about 14 years. He was telling me yesterday his, his favorite game is one pocket, but he was also saying it's his, his worst game. Yeah, he did say that. And he actually uh, mentioned that the uh, reason he likes one pocket is uh, the chess aspect of it, thinking aspect. But the bank pool um, probably helps him in the one pocket. And of course, Mitch is a pretty well-rounded player. He plays bank pool, uh, well, more, more one pocket than bank pool, I would guess. Yeah. And his rotation game is pretty solid. Yeah, I think we're all pretty familiar with this rotation game. Yeah, I've, see, I've seen it on more than one occasion. I've seen more of him than I want to. So <laughs> Moscone Cup candidate last year? Yes, he was. Yeah. He, go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's okay. <laughs> I, uh, I was going to mention Mitch when he was in the booth, was, was uh, he's been helping us with the commentary. Uh, did say that you know he's been getting spanked, and he mentioned about losing the match here, and he called it getting spanked. <laughs> and I just kind of thought about, I was thinking to myself the whole time, now what do you call it when I when I lose? Do you, <laughs> <laughs> you call that spanking? Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's a massacre. Uh, well, I don't know that he's massacred me, but we have good. We've had some good matches, and I've actually won a couple off of him over the years. We used to play on a, a BCA pool league team. Oh yeah. Together, we actually won the Arizona State Championships. I think it was 2000. I think it was 2008 uh, with Dennis Arnder. Dennis Arnder, right? Jimmy mm -hmm. Mendoza uh, and Mike Williams. That is just. For those that don't know, that is a brutal team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so well, that was rather quick. We're over here, and John just takes care of it and uh, takes the first game from Mitch. I think this is the first time I haven't seen the one racked up front. It doesn't matter in this game. No. No. We are playing bank pool. First to win four racks. We'll advance to the next round. There is no next round for the loser. That's correct. I think the loser gets, what, 13th yeah. or 16th? Uh, just out of the money. Because I believe this uh, match brings him back tomorrow. 9th through 12th. Loser gets 9th through 12th here. Okay. And then uh, the winner progresses, and he will probably play the winner of Chris Adams and Gus Brasino. 
Two more so Arizona players yeah, made Mitch their way out. Yeah, loses this. He plays, he plays Gus, Gus or uh, Chris. Guys from Phoenix that he's played with for years. Oh, him and him and Mitch have battled out so many times mm -hmm. in that Desert Classic uh, yeah, they Desert had uh, Diamond Tour. Quite a back and forth Gus going for years. For years. Some great matches from both of them. What a shot. Don't blink, folks. You'll miss something. We are. Is he on four? Or is this, uh, that his third that's, ball? That's his fourth ball, I believe. Oh, I thought he'd make that one. And, uh, two, three, four, five. There's only four balls left. Hey, it's four, zero. He's got to spot one up, the ball that he made on the break. Okay. So, yeah, Mitch needs and one. John uh, needs them all. I don't see a shot for him. Um. I don't see the four is not going to pass the no, five. No, it's not going to pass the five. I, I don't Can't really see a shot for him. Two. Uh, the only shot I well, actually, I don't see a shot for him. I see if he's more creative than I am. No doubt in that. But uh, possible two railer in the corner where he's standing. Uh, I think the deuce is in the way though. I could two rail the four up to the upper left, I believe. Oh, okay, which would open up the deuce and the one, and mm -hmm. he's gonna run right in the... It is risky, Basically, though, especially when your opponent only needs, needs one. one. He gives it up, yeah, he's got a... He might uh, just leave this five on the rail or I close to it and take the cue ball up toward that piece of chalk. I think, he, I think he banks the five towards the nine and leave the cue ball up by the piece of chalk, just like that. Easy, easy, don't come over, just like that. Yeah, we've got a little cluster there, kind of yeah. making things awkward. Now, see, Mitch can choose to uh, back cut the, the four ball. He's not. He's just going to do the same thing. He's going to shoot it and then go up. Knowing that that nine ball is coming back up to spot uh -huh. directly behind the four, he knew he wasn't selling out a bank on the four ball. Well, if that was a sellout, that would be a, a kind of a foolish shot for, uh, yeah. for John to take. And actually, John's played a good safety here. He hasn't given up anything. Uh, the four ball might. It's tough. I don't think Mitch plays with it. I think he goes off the nine and goes back up where he's at. Looks like that's what he's doing, George. Yep. You called it. Yes. Except that, did he give up the nine? Well, he's given up the four if he chooses to bank it. If you choose to accept this mission. <laughs> Mitch is sitting down after being torpedoed. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> we got to tell him that one. Yeah, yeah, we, we just we were talking earlier and uh, he'll get a uh, kick out of that. Kind of uh, slipped out somewhere, and we just laughed about it. <laughs> Bingo! Now the five next. Does it go by the deuce? It's close. It goes to the side. And he can draw away from those balls. He doesn't want to hit these balls, I don't think. Unless he feels comfortable enough to make the ball and open them up so he can have a shot. No, he's drawing away from them. He did, did spread them open a little bit. And he over, he over, overcut that ball. Now does Mitch, Mitch needs one. He's going for the one, the nine, I'm sorry. He had a one great. bucket shot, yes he did. And we're tied in games, one apiece. They both went pretty quick. I think John put together like three or four ball run and mm -hmm. then got out and then Mitch did the same. Yeah, Mitch ran four, ran four. to start this rack. Yeah. We've been playing for six minutes. <laughs> We've already got <laughs> two racks in the books. Well, that's a good thing. John you Phillips poised to tear apart rack number three. You know, at the beginning of the tournament, I didn't give much thought to the length of the matches. We were scheduled two hours between matches, but these can go pretty darn quick since yeah. it's only five balls. Yeah, we've seen, like we were saying, it's matches matches as fast as 14 minutes so far. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we've had a feature table match take over an hour yet. I know no. that there have been a couple of matches around the room that have taken that amount of time, but yeah, we did a lot for, for two hour matches just, just in case. Mm -hmm. Well, you hate to schedule them uh, for an hour and a half and then have one go over yeah. and it just messes up your whole schedule. Yeah, it's and kind of a, a catch-22 for, uh, you know, the person that's sure. assigning these sure. these time slots because some of them, like we were saying, could go really fast and some of them 
could go over that limit. Like so. the one pocket. The yeah. one pocket is very hard to schedule for, for those reasons. Uh, you know, when you when you put a time limit on them, um, they have a tendency of, you can ruin the match, really. Mm -hmm. You get real close, let's say you get to the last game, it's Hill Hill, and uh, you're at the time limit, and you have to impose some kind of, like, next ball wins. Yeah, or that a shot changes, clock or yeah, something, yeah. That changes everything. Oh, there's well, a shot. A great bank. I don't think I want to play John any, uh, any banks. No, he's... We don't have a whole lot of intel on the guy, and he's a super nice guy. Yeah. But he... Uh, he was telling us yesterday that where he lives, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, they haven't really ad adapted or adopted, however you want to word it, uh, to the Fargo system. So they don't have a whole lot of data being input where he comes from. He was saying yesterday he has to drive quite a few hours out of town to make it to an event that does use the Fargo rate system. And he hasn't quite gotten around to it with his 70-hour-a-week work schedule. He's a restaurant manager, he was telling us. Didn't he win the nine ball uh, uh, state tourney there? He did, yeah, in Illinois, Illinois last state? month. Yeah, last month he said he won that. 125 player yeah. field. Yeah. That's very impressive. It sure is. Five ball, I think he banks. Maybe the seven underneath the five. No, he's, he's going to go for this uh, three ball. The red cross three cross corner. Yeah, there's no kiss there. Shouldn't have a kiss. Yeah, he. Well, I have to say one thing. He got the leaf. <laughs> Got a good he, leave out of that. He gave a little wave to John there, kind of acknowledging a little bit of a fortunate roll. Where would you want to put this Straight ball? Back three ball? Straight back three ball. He's got to cross it. That this could kiss and scratch. When that ball comes off and the cue ball's mm -hmm. coming out the right, it could, it could scratch off. But he wasn't even close to making it, so didn't come close to scratching. Four rails. The nine? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking, yeah. He's, pl he's playing the three ball. Not quite. Close. And the two ball is about Cross the side. only shot I see. And that's the one he likes. Yep, he called it. For bank pool players, they like this shot. A lot of guys will practice it. Went a little high with it. And hmm. only shot I see, he's going cross corner with it. I was going to say cross corner or three rails to where the pocket he's at. He's going cross corner, straight across. Not quite. And three ball, cross corner. I think both players are are paying attention to keeping the cue ball on the lower half of the table as you look at the screen right now. Um, essentially taking away any of those three balls being banked into the mm -hmm. side pocket because of where the eight ball is. And I also think both players uh, have come to respect each other's firepower. Yep. And so they're playing. They're playing uh, a tactical game with safeties uh, and two-way shots. Mm -hmm. Mitz calls the seven cross corner. Played to your mm -hmm. upper left. And that's going to go pretty in the good. Hole. Ooh! Oh, it's not going to go in the hole. Hanger. But he didn't leave. I don't see anything that he might have left. He's blocked. There's three pockets kind of blocked effectively. Four, well, four pockets. The nine ball's blocking, the eight ball's blocking, the three ball's blocking, and the seven ball's blocking. Only pockets open uh, are the upper right and the middle left. Can you bank the one ball to the right-hand rail mm -hmm. just above 
the eight ball and come in between the three and five right. to the I, upper left? Actually, what I like here is banking one ball, two rails uh, into the side rail, the head rail into the side pocket on the left side. Okay, I see it. See what John comes up with here. Yeah, let's see what he he goes by design. Five ball, twice straight back. He's going two rails on the five in the upper right hand corner pocket. Actually, it's your lower right hand corner pocket uh, on your screen at this time. Very difficult shots to judge. But I think he made it. Boy, they no, look, they did look you really see good. that ball yeah. just back up off that rail? It died right on that second rail. That doesn't usually happen with with new ball. Mm -hmm. And he's given up a very nice nice shot here for Mitch. Now the one ball, or the I'm sorry. If you can see it, it'll be the five ball. Yep. They're tied in balls now. This will put Mitch ahead one. And let's see if he likes two rails on the six ball by the nine. That's what he calls. Good call, sir. Made it. Does it have the speed? Yes. Oh, Mitch, you can't blow on the ball. Come on, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was actually playing uh, somebody one time, and I faked blowing on the ball. He says, blow foul. <laughs> Twice cross side. Twice cross side. He'd rather shoot that, and he... And no, it went high. Then shoot the one ball. That surprised me. That one ball's a good bank. He was coming right off the, oh, right behind the six here uh, to come over. That was a good bank. Yeah. I'm surprised he passed it up. Yeah, you know, uh, the respect they gained for each other took a little bit of their firepower away. Yeah, they both kind of. Yeah, they both uh, backed off from the, from the offense all the way. They said, this guy can play. I have to respect it. Nice shot. That shot. Nice shot. Now what? Two railer of sorts. Two railer on the on the nine Twice. ball on Straight the left back. side. On the left side because of the eight. Yes. Or he could four rail the deuce. I'm surprised he's not doing that. That's his one of his favorite shots. But this is this is a high good. percentage shot. This is a real. It's it's missed. Yeah, he had he had those that option. Nine, nine ball does bank to the right hand Cross corner. corner. what he's called. Mm -hmm. See if he runs into the deuce. He doesn't. Did that ball double kiss? It looked like it might have. I didn't see that, but it may have. One rail lower right. Sp yes. Jack up and spear the nine. Because of the four rail, or I believe he, I'm not sure he can hit it hard enough. Cross yeah. He called the cross corner. Spear it with a little inside. Bingo. Spirit, he did. Mitch has four balls. John's got one. Here's a four railer. Oh, but he's going to shoot it right handed. Four rails. Mitch, it's asking a lot, buddy. It's not hard enough. He one stroked it, too. <laughs> and he made it. close gosh. to making this ball. Look at this. Wow, it was hard enough. Okay. Do you try to make two balls in one shot? You still give up a bank, unless you make the two ball after the making the eight, or you you give up a bank. Unless you make he, the eight and the deuce. I was gonna say he could he could do that, or he could follow it in. He's gonna cost himself a ball, but then two balls spot up. Mitchell two rail. Not worth right it. I don't think. Yeah, not worth it. He'll right, he'll two rail it right back where he's at. No, he won't. He's, he's one rail in it. No, yeah, he's one rail in it. He hit it with good speed, too, not, not yes. selling out yes. any bank. Yeah, he's playing one pocket with him now. Mm -hmm. I'll even throw my pocket deal with it. Yeah, it's smart, given but that go for it. three balls and three pockets are tied up. There's really only yeah. one ball to, to play with without sacrificing a turn at the table. Yeah, now he has to play on one ball at a time. Yeah. And so he's got to beat him three, he's got to beat him four times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one each player win. needs what the other one has. Yep. That's a good way to put it. I had to think about it for a second. 
Three in the side eight. Three in the side. I, I like it. This is the old uh, golf action right there. Wow. I didn't, this, I didn't see it. Yeah, he, it's there. It's just tough. Cue ball could scratch in the side. See it coming over. Mm -hmm. I th it oh, kissed the it eight. Kissed it in the corner. In the corner. Mitch is going to have a dead straight ball in hand bank. Oh, my. To the side pocket for rack number three. It's like that. Takes a two-to-one lead, and it's uh, Mitch's break, isn't it? Yeah, I do believe so. Yep. Quite a little match we're watching. This is a little tactical, a uh, little moving going on, a little shoot, a lot of shooting going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first two racks were lightning fast. Yes. Rack three, like well. you said, we had a little bit of a back and forth tactical battle. I think we'll see that from now on. Although I almost guarantee Mitch is going to try to run out of here. Yeah. Mitch is grateful that he won that game, but yes. he would much rather just be shooting. Is he going to start with here the eight ball on the side or the six ball in the corner? Cross side with the eight, he says. I like that shot. We have a, the table's mic, and we can kind of hear him a little bit. Oh, I like the shot, but um, didn't execute it. What's he giving up here? A back, a back cut on the five. One ball. The one ball looks very nice. I like it a lot better than this five ball. Hasn't even looked at He's it. He's not looking at crossing yeah. the seven, is he? I think there's too much of a scratch offer there. Um, Going back to that. He's going with his instincts. First oh, shot he saw. Cross corner one, he called. Going with your shot. It's not my shot. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at the options. He chose it. I, I usually call the obvious options. <laughs> like this four ball. Oh, he's banking the either side, I think. No, the four ball. When I saw him get down, I looked like he was going to hit the eight ball. Now he's shooting the eight ball. And he'll have shape on the deuce if he executes this. Load up with draw on this one. Yeah. Make sure he keeps oh. the cue ball out of the way. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was fun to watch. Zip. Yeah. Do -da. What a shot there. He zipped the cue ball around and stayed underneath the side pocket. Straight back. Oh, he'll hit this with a little force in inside English. I like this nine ball here. Let's see if he does. Throw it out and spin it back? Yes. He's going to flat just cross, cross side. He's three railing the ball. Uh-oh. Someone's feeling hot. Well, look, it's almost going to go good. <laughs> See, those are one pocket shots that you, know, you see, and you play them all the time. So for a player that plays those a lot, they're a higher percentage. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mitch knows the shot, there's, there's no doubt. We've played enough where I've seen him shoot it and I get sick to my stomach because he <laughs> makes it. Called the six ball, mm -hmm. I believe. And the five got in the way for the one ball straight back. Yeah, I wonder if he'll try to stiffen up the five ball for the corner pocket. All right. Go past the side. He's looking at that now, and that's too much. Angle. Bank, bank, yeah. bank that's the one to yeah. upper left as you view the screen yeah. now. I like this. You'll bring the cue ball down. A little too much. And you hear him yeah, say, Yeah, you can much. even yeah. hear him. Yep. <laughs> too much. A little too much. Too I, like much. That, I like that mic over the table. We can kind of yeah. get in the players' heads a little bit. If it wasn't for the break and some of the hits on the ball, it'd be nice to have it a little louder so we can mm -hmm. kind of hear what they say. Put actual microphones on on the players. Um, no, that's not a good idea. No, no. <laughs> Sometimes you miss a ball and words come out of your mouth that shouldn't be heard. You ever had that happen? Not me. No, no. Okay. No, I'm <laughs> lying through my teeth here. Yeah, once or twice. 
Wow. Six ball. Yeah, he's got options here. Yes, he does. Six ball. You can shoot the six. You can shoot the two. Shoot the five. And here comes the two ball. Same shot for the three. He's playing one pocket. It looks like it, yeah. Actually, might the five ball might the be a better shot. Yeah, I like the five better. But not that. I never think of there. I didn't think of there. Oh, that's I what I was that thinking. that was close. You oh, were thinking of the cross, the side. yeah. If you can avoid that, that point to the uh -huh. by the lower side pocket sure. as you're viewing the screen now, I think with maximum spin it goes. Well, he got he, he got some uh, he ran three balls there and paid his dues. Yep. So now he's even with the governor. <laughs> three ball inside. I mean the corner, cross corner. That's what he's called. Yeah. Run the cue ball down and up. Yeah. Pocket speed. Look at this shot. What a Beautiful. gorgeous shot. Now does he bank? He, he I guess he has to opt for the six. He's going to go for the nine. And the nine. Yeah, I'm not sure which I like more there. Advantage to the left-handed player on this shot. Made it. How do you hit that one? Pretty darn nice for game number three. He's on the hill. He is. So John's going to need to win three racks in a row here. The perks of being tall. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the perks of being left-handed, actually. Yeah, John, I think there was a little bit of both John in that one. John stands about yeah. what? Uh, five, He's about 5'7", five, 5'3". Five, five, five. No, he was a few inches shorter than I am. So okay. About 5'5", five, five maybe. 5'6". Yeah, Mitch is, Mitch is about 6'1". Yeah. Six foot at least. He's six foot, I think. Yeah. I think I got him by two or three inches. Oh, quit bragging how tall you are. It's not bragging. I'm 5'9". That's bragging to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably easier for you to find clothes. <laughs> A little high. <laughs> John's singing for us. John, John Phillips is yes. singing along to the song. Well, his last name is Sousa. Didn't you know that? It's what? John Phillips Sousa. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> he, he's not singing. He's playing a lot of tr you know, trumpets and mm -hmm. uh, Star Spangled Banner, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Two rails in the corner on the one? Or is he going to back cut the, the six, probably? Straight back. Oh, he's going all four balls straight back. Right-handed. <laughs> right-handed again. I never saw that shot because I never thought he'd shoot it right-handed. <laughs> he made it, too. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good shot. <laughs> I know how to play Mitch now. I play bank fool. You have to play right-handed all the time. I don't know. You might not like it. He's making banks right here. I didn't say too. that, but I have more chance doing that <laughs> yeah. than playing straight up. That's true. <laughs> Now he's going to go right-handed again. Yeah, he's just going to touch it, though, and just play safe. He's just tapping it. He's saying, you do something where I can get more shots. I'm ahead two games, up by two games, and I just need one to win, so make a mistake. I also just need uh, four balls. You need six. <laughs> Give me just a moment. I'm going to check the board and see who's up next on our feature table. Oh, that will let you know here. Pretty quick because we do have an eight o'clock match tonight. Going long tonight for those of you guys at home. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you guys. Uh, hope we're doing a good job for you. We well, like to uh, maybe you learn something from what we have to say. Maybe you don't, but we just hope we entertain you in a positive way. Oh, he missed up by quite a quite a margin. He kind of jumped up on it, looked like. Cross side on the three ball. Scratch, careful with it. 
didn't get there with him. That could have kissed off the eight. All right, I went over to Cross, check the bracket, and speak with our tournament director for just a moment to try to find out who's next up on our feature table at our 8 p.m. match. Is it to be determined? Uh, it is. Um, it's going to be the winner of Gary Lutman and Neil Jacobs okay. versus the winner of Ian Costello and Mark Vidal. Okay. Predict the winner. Um, I'd rather not. <laughs> I'm going to say we have Neil Jacob. Neil, I believe, uh, got third last year. Second. Second? Yeah. Okay. Um, and, uh, the other one was uh, Ian, Ian Costello and, and Mark Vidal. That's a good match. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that. That is a good match. That's a, that's a pretty good one there. Both very close on Fargo, yes. I think, within... Well, 13 no, or 14 they're points. Good, good, they both play good bank pool. They both, uh, they're both strong, strong regional players. Uh, right at the pro level, mm -hmm. 727, 25, right in there. Yeah, if, if history repeats itself and if numbers don't lie, we'll see Neil Jacobs versus Mark Vidal in the next match. Okay. Um, but we've seen anything can happen. Yeah, I like Gary. But uh, I think uh, Neil is just thankful. But Gary plays a strong game of back. He does. He, he does. does. He and plays he's a strong he, game. He's got a crazy gear, too. He could miss he? four or five balls that you would just, I'm not going to say hangers, but fairly. And then he just comes with ten crazy banks in a row out of nowhere. It's that's, fun, that's fun to play against play. him. It's yeah. fun to play, but it's a dangerous player. But when, you're, when, when, he's, when he's playing against somebody his speed, you know, it can it can really change things. Yeah, that was a beautiful bank shot there from Mitch. He put a lot of spin on the mm -hmm. three ball, kind of manufactured an angle to not clip the eight ball. That was a great shot. Four rails on the side with the deuce. Wow. Okay. He was practicing this shot yesterday. I, I, he's within half a diamond. I'd bet on it. Oh my! Well, you lost Glad that. <laughs> <laughs> I w you would swear that when you shoot that shot, if you call the three rails, there's not room to go mm -hmm. by the nine. But he found room to go by the nine. Yeah, saw him working uh, on that shot last seven night. Seven ball. See, I see the shot he just shot, that four railer. Mm -hmm. But that, that, that uh, it's got to have less angle coming off the first rail. That had a lot of angle coming. And you have to avoid the eight. Usually you shoot that shot. You're going to come real close real, to in the eight. Really close yeah. to that corner. Yeah. And there, there's a, a outside. Oh, he, oh, I thought he, I thought he ginned it. Back, back cutting the three ball, the red ball, Cross the red three. three. There you go. Cue ball going straight up. That run, doesn't you have to run draw that cue ball a little bit. That just could, a little that bit, could track just a hair. right into that corner pocket. He doesn't. No, that's why I said going straight up. Yeah. Like he did. You had to be careful with the cue ball. The natural mm -hmm. angle would have tracked to the corner. Mm -hmm. Five, ball, Five ball. Yeah, I like this shot. He'll spin out. Cue ball, my kiss. This is close. Oh, he just, barely beat the, he just barely beat the kiss. I thought he made it. And he, uh, yeah, he came real close to making it. What are we going to shoot here, folks? Three ball. Where is he going to play this three ball? Past the nine on the upper left. Um, it, I think it goes. Yes, I think he shoots it. It looks like it'll go by, but he just can't reach it. A bit of a height challenge here. He's vertically tough, challenged. Tough ball to reach. <laughs> nice and soft. Gave it time to open up. It won't open up enough. Mitch will be shooting at this seven ball. Seven ball to the left-hand corner. One stroke and fire. And I don't think that's going to go down either. Well, hello, three ball. But he's elevated. Nothing easy about this shot. No. As soon as you elevate your cue, it just makes it a tough shot. Wow. It didn't matter. He did great. You know, I like this shot here. Is I like banking the nine ball to the side pocket. Just one rail? Just one rail. That seems to be the shot that I, when I call it, I'm not even close. <laughs> and when I don't try to play anywhere near it, I end up in it. Just hit it just past the spot, uh, the diamond in the middle. If 
you, you know, if you go straight back one, and just parallel the the line from the side pocket to the to the diamond to the other side mm -hmm. pocket. Speed shot. Just make sure you go past the side pocket. You can't give up the seven ball because the eight ball is in the way. Is he playing this past the eight? Vicious shot. Very vicious shot. Mm -hmm. Trying to get a read from his facial expression. He's pretty. Wow. He's pretty stoic. He doesn't show yeah. too much. Too much emotion. He says, "Which one do I want to shoot? The one or the seven? Okay. He just told us. I think it brings him back up for the five. Nope. <coughs> see anything one maybe, maybe the one yeah actually the seven the six I'm sorry the lime six I think it goes by the five. Oh yeah that's what he's looking at he might be looking at the five too but I think the seven uh, six block goes by the five it did uh oh cue ball oh hello point <laughs> The six ball. I'm it's glad that side by side pocket is pointy. <laughs> uh, four rails on the one. Is the nine ball sticking out enough to hit it? Because I think it is. He's looking at the four railer. I think the nine ball might might it might clip the nine. It's got to come one, straight two. Back. Oh, he's going straight back. What a pretty shot. Wow. What a pretty, pretty shot. Even though it didn't go, it's a pretty shot. Very creative. Pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> does he try, does he go for the one? I mean the three, excuse me. Cross bank to the side, side pocket. Uh -huh. Not even looking at it. Straight back one ball. Straight well, back one ball. Oh, he went to the opposite pocket. Okay. Understand. I didn't think it would go, he was going to shoot it to the bottom right pocket. See if we see Mitch with a three or four railer on the five ball. Three rails to the side. Or four to the other side if he wants to take that one on oh, again. Oh, he already tried that <laughs> yeah. one, yeah. See, that four to the other side, I, th I think it's it's got too much angle coming off the rail. It's got to have less angle for the four railer. I think if he does try to play this three in this right-hand side pocket, lower side pocket as you view the screen now, I think he's worried about where the cue ball is going to land. Yes, he is. He doesn't he want to sell out any of those three balls lined up down table for a bank shot in the side. Well, this isn't a bad shot here. He's got a two-railer on the nine, but he's got to be careful to make sure he draws that cue ball out. Wait a minute. Cross I like crossing the one. The one. Yeah. yeah. You, excuse me. I was going crazy there for a he's second. He's looking at the five. Two rails on the five. I think both players, I don't want to say scared, but they don't want to take the cue ball down table. Well, it can be costly. Yeah. And uh, uh, John definitely can't afford that because uh, he's out of the game. Mitch, on the other hand, has a game to play with. Mm -hmm. He can still give up a game and go, go for the three balls he needs. That was a smart shot oh, there by nice Mitch. He corner hooked him. Can he, he's got to be able to see the spot shot. Uh, the one on the spot. Yeah, he can. Okay. Uh oh, look scratch. at this. Oh, no. Ouch, 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 ouch. And again, again, that nice ball in hand bang for the side, mm -hmm. uh, for a cross side. Yep. So see, Mitch kind of forced that by uh, uh, limiting his options, and he tried to do quite a bit with the cue ball. Opened it up a little too much and scratched off the ball. Needs one for the match. And cross eight, side on eight the eight. Eight ball. Eight ball. Ooh. Oh, hello. There's life. There's life after death there. Because that was sold out. Cross corner. 
he hits these shots pretty darn good. Except for that one. <laughs> Six to seven ball. One more seven. seven. Is he going to stiff the six? Is he looking to stiff the six ball? Yeah, I know he likes to shorten them up. That's actually that short. I think that might shorten up. The seven. Nice take the cue ball over into the five. Uh, just send the cue ball straight back up again. Because now you're giving up the eight. I didn't didn't want to leave the cue ball down there. I'd want to get the cue ball up, up top, middle of the table. Now I'm curious, maybe you know the answer to this. Maybe I'm foolish for not knowing the answer to this. No, no. What, was, what would happen if he ran these five balls and he's got a negative one ball count right now? I know a ball's the got a spot. Ball spots. And does he just shoot it from where, where the cue ball lies yes, at that he point? Can, he, okay. can play, he can play shape for the spot shot. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Exactly. It's the same in one pocket. One pocket the last ball spots up. Gotcha. Shoot. Yeah, I haven't played a whole heck of a lot of bank pool. A little bit, but I haven't run into that scenario. He four railed this ball, and I think he made it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my fact, gosh. I know he made it. What a match. Wow. What a shot to end the match, folks. Wow, that's Mitch Elliman over John Phillips. Mitch will proceed in the tournament. John, unfortunately, has to go home. Mitch meets, who did you say he played? The winner he will be playing the winner of Gary Lutman. Gary Lutman and uh, Mark Vidal. Gary Lutman and Neil, no, Jacobs, Neil Jacobs are playing. Jacobs. Ian Costello and Mark Vidal were playing. I see Mark in front of me right now, but I don't know if he won or lost his match. I'm assuming by his demeanor that he's won his match. Mm -hmm. um, and our 8 o'clock match... Yeah, will be the winner of Gary Lutman and Neil Jacobs versus go. the winner of Ian Costello and Mark Vidal. That will be at 8 o'clock, so we got about an hour and 20 minutes. Folks, okay, folks. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. We'll see you soon.